Hello fellow emos, it's Rain. Welcome to another video. Today we are obviously in my closet because you guys voted and you said you wanted a closet tour, so here we go. So I'm not exactly sure how to organize this. I think I'm gonna start by showing you guys how I organize my closet and then we'll go through some like individual pieces. I did do another poll and you guys said that you wanna see as many pieces as possible with some try on. And then the second option, or some people wanted me to try on everything. So I'm not gonna try on everything cause that would take forever, but I might do a mixture of like B-roll shots where I am trying on multiple things. And then I'm also gonna stop and pick a few that I like specifically and talk about them a little more but yeah so this is my closet disclaimer this has taken me a very long time <laughs> to collect it's taken me many years i do not financially stable by any means so this took a long time of collecting just putting that out there Alrighty, for starters i'll just take you into my closet it is kind of small this is my boyfriend's side he has a dresser this is not all his clothes i just hang mine more so he ended up getting just that little spot i promise i do not <laughs> prevent him from having spaces but yeah so basically the way i organize it is i have like all my shirts down here here i have all my long skirts i have like belts and stuff this is all of my jackets. I love these a lot. I can't wait for winter. Longer stuff, some Hawaiian shirts, cardigans, and sweaters. Keep shoes up here and down here, and there's too many shoes, so they're everywhere. I hang my pants up like this because it's so much easier than putting them in a drawer. Then I have some pieces that I just really like. I have a couple of long dresses. I have these amazing skirt hangers that I just love. And then all my dresses, like mostly mini. So that is how I organize it. Now let's look at them. Ooh. All right, so to start off, I think we're gonna do like this section first. So we'll do my pants. This is just like a pair of ripped skinny jeans. Then I have my infamous black vinyl trip pants. I love these, they're kind of low rise too. And it's just like the perfect like punk rock glamour look that I am exactly like exactly what I go for all the time. I would wear them a lot more if they didn't like stick to my body. And then I don't know how to wash them properly. So I try not to wear them very often because like, I think I've worn them like twice and mostly only for pictures. I've never worn them in public because I am afraid to wash them. So that's fun. I've also got another pair of leather pants. I have my other trip pants, which I absolutely adore. This is like my first official trip pants that I bought in LA. Then I have a couple like kind of cigarette pants, my Ragged Priest pants. These used to be like my favorite pants. I have these, this crazy wide leg. I'll have to, I'll definitely be trying those on. Then I also, I have these bad boys, which these were my favorite pants for a very long time. But then the zipper broke one day and I eventually, I put eyelets in and I have like a little string that I tie them up. So if your zipper breaks, just make them a tie up pants. And I have another pair of Ragged Priest pants. I wish I could afford to get more because I really do love some of the styles they make. And then these are a pair of pants that I don't really, they're like, they kind of, they're almost capris, but they're longer than capris. But I wore these on my first date with my boyfriend, so I have not gotten rid of them just because they're so sentimental. And then my Beetlejuice pants, which are also super wide leg. And I don't wear these very often just because I feel like they're just too formal looking. So when I wear them, I just look it's not the vibe I'm going for, you know? But I still have them because having Beetlejuice pants in my life is convenient. Okay, I'm done with pants, moving on. All right, so for dresses, I'm just gonna 
grab a few that I really, really like and then just do a bunch of try-on stuff so you can see them. Let's see. So this is definitely one of my favorites. I think this is lip service. Yeah, this is a, a lip service dress. It's got these cute little hardware and straps here. The only thing, it's like so tight around the chest area. I don't know how anyone with actual boobs would be able to wear it, but yeah, I love this one. And just, it was one of the first pieces to my, my lip service collection and it is very dear to my heart. So this one, this is also a Betsy Johnson dress that I found in a Goodwill of all places. I actually shrunk it in the wash one day, which is weird because I've washed it before and it was fine. It used to fit me perfectly and now it like makes me, does not do me any favors. I might resell it one day, but right now I'm keeping it just because I, I miss it so much, but it's so pretty. And it's got this beautiful like fishnet floral pattern. I don't know, it's just so sad that it did not, not survive. <laughs> Another favorite of mine right now is this really long like polo maxi dress. I don't know. I just love the colors. So it still kind of like fits my my style and everything. And it's just so comfy and fun. And I don't have to do too much to like look good in it, like to look put together, you know? So I really, really enjoy that. All right, so this, this is one of my all time favorite like thrift finds ever. I'm pretty sure this is, it's something called Nina Ritchie Paris. I don't know but I did look up the brand once and like a lot of their stuff was like a thousand dollars and I got it for like 60 at one of those ridiculously overpriced vintage shops, vintage shops on Melrose in California. Um, but I remember specifically thinking, wow, that's one of the most hideous things I've ever seen. I have to have it. And it's this long, it's like mesh and see-through. I just love it. I do not wear it as much as I used to but I still think it's amazing. And I really need to make some looks with it, with it again. So as far as skirts go, I don't really feel like unclipping these. So I'm just gonna like, you know, I have a bunch of like solid black ones and some trip skirts. Uh, and then, ooh, okay. But this, this one, oh, how my nails are coming out. But this, Serious, I think it's a serious, it's one of my favorite skirts of all time. Um, but yeah, so I keep like all my kind of plaid skirts here. These hangers are awesome. I think I got them at Walmart, but I can never find them. They are like all my local Walmarts. I found them like one time and then now they're gone. But they're very convenient and they save me so much space. Alrighty. Oh, this is very sideways. Hold on. Okay. It's still not great, but this is, we're working on it. Okay. So now we're gonna talk about all my shirts. This is probably like the bulk of my clothes is shirts. I think that used to be true, but I don't know how true that is. Anyway, so in the front here, you can't really see. Like I said, those are like all my my basics. I have like these like little crop tops and stuff, you know, just stuff that's easy to, to layer with. I just need something easy. I'll throw on some of those. Let's see. I really like this like style of crop top as you can see i like i diy'd oh diy'd most of them this is one of my favorite shirts of all time this was actually like a full t-shirt that there's this t-shirt shop in los Feliz, california and the guy like hand prints them all and they're all i actually have like a david bowie shirt as well and he like has all these like rock legends on them. Like I'm pretty sure you had like Jimi Hendrix and Jim Morrison and stuff. And um, just decided I definitely, I wear it so much more now that I like cut it up and did all that to it. Um, but I'm pretty sure he hand prints them all like in, in store. I actually, I need to show you guys something from my boyfriend's closet that's also from there. So one time I was there and they had this bin full of like misprint t-shirts and I'm, and they were like, they must've been like $5, you know, they super cheap. I was like, I can't not get one. And I found this green one and it says, I hate the environment. I just thought it was super funny and like, <laughs> like ironic, very much a conversation starter. I already tell this is gonna be a really long video. This is another lip service. I'm pretty sure the tag is missing, but if you can see those little colors, 
usually that's like thread of a lip service thing. This one's really fun, super cute. Another one I don't wear nearly enough. When I'm looking for shirts, I look for stuff that is versatile. I do like to get a few statement pieces as shirts, but I don't usually just because I like to leave that to like pants or shoes or stuff like that. So I, I mean, I do have a lot, but I don't like, like I don't get anything with like crazy patterns or anything like that, like not often anyway, just because I like to be able to pair it with multiple different things. I think that's like really important when you are looking for clothes and shopping is to make sure that it's not something that you can only wear with like one very specific outfit. Ooh, this is one of my favorites. You guys have seen this already, but this is my my black flag. Like it's got like that baseball tee, but it like cuts off. I really like the way that that kind of like muscle tee fit is. It's just I don't know. And it's funny because this is I think this is an American Peril shirt. That's what the the tag says. And honestly, sometimes I'm glad that um, big brands started just randomly using band logos because they've made some pretty pretty good good stuff. Another one I wear very frequently. Ooh, oh my gosh, okay. This is another one. Altamont. I actually just recently found this shirt after thinking it was gone. I think I left it at my parents' house while I lived in California. So I it, I just was like, why? I, well, cause I had purged some clothes. So I thought I had gotten rid of it. Cause sometimes I make some questionable decisions and I was going through and actually I found both these shirts. <laughs> this is a relic. This is the Bury the Hatchet tour which was Falling on a Verse and Escape the Fate. I think that was like 2014. What year is this? Yeah, 2014. But if you know about ETF and Falling in Verse, you know, you know. I thought I had gotten rid of this and I'm so glad I'm not. I'm ready for it to be warmer because I will be wearing this frequently. Honestly, it's just a cool design, like not even for those bands anyway. But, and then Altamont is fun. This is like a reference to a Rolling Stones free concert that went horribly wrong and it is recognized as the demise of the peace and love movement, movement in the 60s <laughs> from some people in the music industry or just from that time. So that's a fun one. So I had like a huge um, kind of like 70s, Thing. I wore a lot of button-ups, and so this was one of the ones that I thrifted. I absolutely love it. I wish the colors came out better, because these are more like vibrant. It does not look as muted as it does on camera. It has like gold on it, it's so pretty. This one I found in probably a, also a Goodwill in uh, Palm Springs. And it's like this beautiful velvet, and it's like mesh down here. It is just one of the prettiest, awesomest thrift finds, finds I've ever, ever found. And that just goes to show you guys, um, you can find good stuff at the thrift store. Like that's where a lot of my coolest pieces are from. They are either DIY'd or thrifted. So always keep your eyes out. You will find cool stuff. Right, so now on to jackets. So I am a little bit of a jacket fiend. I love them. I honestly am surprised I don't have more. This is the Tunnel Vision reversible jacket. It's like this on the inside and this like kind of velvet suede kind of thing on the outside. It's got the furry sleeves. It's so nice. This one makes me feel just like a fucking badass, dude. Like with the red on the inside, it's just, got this little thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. So past my jackets, I have like a bunch of flannels. I usually have more, but I don't, they're somewhere right now. And I um, just have like a couple button ups. I don't usually wear a lot of these often. Sometimes I like to just throw them on like late fall when it's not like too, it's not cold enough for me to wear like a full jacket. And stuff like that. Oh, this is cool. 
This is a Calvin Klein one that I found. It's like snake print almost, and it ties up. It gives me like the rock glam look that I like. And I also thought it would be fun for interviews possibly to have my, and still have my own little like taste in it. Like that is one, another thing is I love finding things that um, still have my taste, but I can use in like neutral settings, if that makes sense. Because for me personally, I am not, I am not at any point willing to 100% give up my style and how I dress because that's like a huge part of me. And I do it because that's, it makes me very happy and that's what I'm comfortable in. Like any job that does not let me have colored hair, I will not apply to it because there is no job that will pay me enough to have to dye my entire head. Like that's absurd. I also think that's an archaic rule that we need to get rid of. But I also, I do think it is important to still have like business attire and be able to transform into a business setting or professional setting, you know? Can't all be safety pins and razor blades and what, you know, like I, there's a, I'm willing to like have that boundary, but I will still have, like I will do it my way. You know what I mean? So I love finding stuff like that. And then there's a couple more, just like white button up. This shirt is honestly the start of me having a like really specific funky style. This is actually a shirt that I literally stole from my dad. He did not wear this. My dad does not wear stuff like this. I don't know why he had this, um, cause he literally never wore it. <laughs> but I found it one day when I was, um, I was probably like 15 or something. And I was really like experimenting with my look and stuff. It already gone through my emo phase. So I was kind of like branching off into the like indie, just alternative in general, you know, like very weird. But I would wear this with like as a dress almost and would put like fishnets underneath it or just like tights and um, I thought it was really cool. Here we've got some cardigans. This one I love, it's so cute. I got it off Depop. My Unif cardigan, it's got a cute little hood. It's super cute and cropped and got these little bows. I love this one. I have a few like sweaters and stuff. This one's kind of like Marceline. These are cool and then, ooh, ooh. This is fun. So this is just a plain black sweater that I actually like so I hand sewed this rib stuff onto. Um, all right, and I guess just to finish up, um, in this little drawer here, I have like shorts and all my various leg warmers, arm warmers, and all my eye girl stuff. Um, yeah, thank you for everyone who helped me like kind of figure out how I should format this video and all that fun stuff. August 1st, I don't know what day I'm gonna be posting this, but first few songs, Change Your Name, Too Hot To Touch, will be out on all streaming platforms everywhere under the name Rain Cross. Cross is an X, so Rain X, but it's Cross, because that's my last name. But yeah, you should check them out. Also, you should like this video because it really does help with my engagement and all that fun stuff. And subscribe because I'm trying to be an actual person who does stuff often. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go chill real hard because I am tired. <laughs> Alrighty. I am so bad with outros. Yeah. Alright, bye guys.